Hey guys, welcome back. Wanted to do a quick re-refining video. I have uh, some gold here that it's a, it's about 40 grams. You can see it's not quite bright and shiny like you would normally associate pure gold with. And so it's 41.604 grams as it weighs right now. And of course that's going to go down as you re-refine it through impurities. Here's on my Sigma. It's about 91-92% pure, so 22 karat going to dissolve it here in nitric acid and hydrochloric acid mostly hydrochloric you use about three mil of nitric per gram of gold to dissolve it you add it in slow increments and then put it on heat so here it is you can see it dissolving it's broken into two pieces there and this only works if you're using nearly pure gold like 22 karat or higher if it's less than that, you have to encord it, melt it with silver to get it down to about 25% first. So as it's dissolving, you see some of the white little bits on the bottom. That is some of the impurities that remain. And at, when you filter this out, that's kind of what it looks like. Changes color as you add distilled water to it to increase the volume. There's a, there's a closer up picture of the impurities that were left over through the filter and that's just a regular coffee filter that I'm using. Now we're going to precipitate the gold using sodium metabisulfite. That's also known as stump out by Bonide. You can get that from Home Depot for about six dollars. For a bottle of that I usually buy four or five bottles at a time for what I'm doing. Add it slowly here. You'll see it start to change color. And then we're going to we're going to test with stannous chloride here to make sure that all of the gold is precipitated and then you're going to let it stand and the gold will settle to the bottom in about half an hour to 45 minutes but you can see on the top right here there's just there's still a little bit of gold color that tells you just just looking at it that it hasn't all precipitated usually when it's completely done you'll see a white foam start to form at the top right there that's a pretty good indicator that all of the gold has precipitated. However, if you haven't done this a lot or haven't done it before, always use stannous chloride to test. So you take a piece of filter paper, so a coffee filter cut up here. I'm trying to do this without my tripod, so let's see if we can Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Try again. So if it if there's still gold in the solution, it will have a black tint to it. And if it's red, it's just a very slight amount of gold that's in it. So as you can see here, we've got nothing. That tells us that all of it has been precipitated. So now we're just going to sit and wait for the gold to settle you can sometimes you can skip this step if you're in a hurry you can just go ahead and just filter all of the solution and the gold will be at the bottom of your filter so I put this in kind of a fast forward mode you can watch the solution start to clear up my battery died on my phone right towards the end of this so you're not gonna see you're not gonna see it get completely clear you can start to see it some stuff floating in the top there. It'll eventually settle. There's almost settled. You can see how it's just sitting at the bottom. Uh, it looks kind of like this brown mud. Now I'm going to filter this solution through a coffee filter and put it in a melt dish and melt it. just using regular map gas high temperature here it's enough to melt it this is what one of the two pieces ended up looking like I had a little left over as I tried to pour it so the other one looks like that and I ended up remelting these one more time because I just I'm kinda OCD picky about it so anyway I wanted to show you what the larger piece ended up being almost exactly one ounce. 31.1 ounces is, or 31.1 grams is one troy ounce. So that 
that one piece ended up being one troy ounce so that tells me that the other piece is probably eight or nine grams something in that area and so what I'm gonna do as I said I remelted these two pieces since I took this video and I put them on the scale there that's what the remelted pieces look like and I've, <laughs> I've done it one more since then ends up being 39.2 grams so refining the impurities out you lose just a little bit that's to be expected and we'll put it on my Sigma analytics here and see if we can get 99% we're pretty close it's just outside the range so I got the wand out to try to get a little closer on it and it's it's close but we're not quite there so we're gonna redo it one more time and maybe I can save that for another video Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.